yo what's up y'all my name is Ray Nell. welcome back to my channel fishing trips back for another vlog of action packed fishing well you know if you're new to the vlog I, I really don't be doing fishing but we're going to do something a little different today check it out what are we doing today right now well y'all since we haven't been catching fish I decided we're going to catch some crab god damn it yes we are got my little net here chicken little steak um, what we're doing is going to be fishing this area um, this is 45 right here it's like a little marsh area a lot of people like coming over here for this area right here for like catching bait which is like mullet shrimp and yeah we're right off of 45 so i'm gonna drop my net in this area right here see if we can catch some crab I might throw my little spoon out here see if we can get a little fish see what's popping you know you know so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing today trying to catch some blue crabs and see what we can do enjoy the vlog i know i will <laughs> come on let's go y'all So, as you can see, I got my little chicken string right here. What I do is just put it right underneath this bridge pasture. Let it soak on down. I'm not sure how deep it is. Maybe like five feet, two feet. I can still see my string. From there, as we just let that sink. Get my little spike. <laughs> All right, note to self, spike does not go through asphalt. That's all good, we're just gonna tie it up, keep it as a marker, as so. There we go. All right, should be good. I got one here, one there, two more to go. On this beautiful day. Time lapse, <laughs> looking good. All right, so basically I bought these at Walmart for like $2.50, $2.50. I got the steaks, Walmart, about, I think it was $2.99, rod holders actually. Walmart, $2.50, about $225 for the line, and some chicken for $2.21. So about $30 worth of material. Now I think they say that a dozen blue shells cost about $30 at the store. So I need to catch 12, blue shells, crabs, to get my money back. And I bent this one, no word, we'll make it work. All right, so what I've been doing is simply cutting this off, as so. All right, there goes my drop net. Guess I, be careful taking out the bag, don't want to bend it. From there, take about yeah, 12 inches of twine. Get you a nice bit of chicken. Now, if I don't catch no crab, I'm taking this out the water, taking it home, deep frying, and I'm eating it. Okay. So next, try to put it evenly in the middle so it drops down nice and straight. making sure my meat is still there. Get a nice good knot. Gotta worry about salmonella, 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 kumalata, I don't know. All right, so from there, 
Let's get about six foot of rope. It's gonna cut that. Get your rod holder. Now, of course, you can use like wooden stakes as well, but you know, I'm high maintenance. All right, I'm gonna take our net hook. Let's give it a couple of wraps around. So, nice little tight knot. That's so, and there you go. We're ready to go crabbing, y'all. Let's go sit our third one. See what happens. I'm feeling confident. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and check trap number one. I'm gonna have to kind of pull it kind of fast. And skunk. That's a skunk. It's all good. I'm gonna put it back out there again. Wait, that didn't fall right. Did not fall right. There we go. All right, skunk on that one. Strike one. But this is where the sweet spot is at. Definitely where the sweet spot is at. Here we go. Got to creep up on them real quick. And raise the net. Strike two, not a damn thing. Strike two, not an absolute damn thing. Whatever. All right, this is the one. Third time's the charm. Guarantee you, watch this. Third time's the charm. This is not a charm. And why is my net all ganged up like that? God damn it. Whatever. Anyway. Say the best for last. Say the best for last. Cause you know I was just playing games. Ho ho! What? We got one, baby! We got one! Yes! Yes! They call me a rookie. It might be three inches. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. Man. That makes some pretty good bait. All right, but I believe these boys have to be about five inches from crown to crown. So they say. So let's get a quick picture. Let this boy go. Didn't get skunk. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself. I'm really proud of myself. I don't care what people say. This is an accomplishment. Let's take a picture of it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh oh, they go 12. Got one! Got one! Alright, y'all, so we out here. Just caught a little baby one. You little mean sucker, ain't you? When can I grab him? 50 likes and I'll grab them. Come on, little buddy. Let's see what happened. Oh, there we go, y'all. We killing it. We killing it. Big things popping, little things rocking. Bam! Got one! Got one! Got him! <laughs> yeah! It's going down and in, in that G town. <laughs> yeah.
All right, y'all. So we've relocated to East Beats East Side, and um, yeah, we're gonna do some crabbing. Got one set up here. Looks like I already got a jellyfish. Excellent. And yeah, we're coming across over here. Um, I know it's a lot of reds over here, so we'll see. Um, where there's bridge and rocks, typically there is crabs. So let's try to come over here and not kill ourselves. Let's kind of toss it over here. It was a nightmare trying to get this untangled. I don't know why I thought wrapping it up would be a good idea. My mistake. My mistake. So yeah, y'all. We'll see what happens. I still got to get these untangled. Um, from there, we'll do a little casting over here, a little fishing. See what's popping. Time is 3.55. We'll probably check it in 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Feeling hot, but feeling good. All right, y'all, so it's been about eh, 25, 30 minutes. Let's check on our crabs. Net number one. Took my chicken. Took the whole damn chicken. Okay. Y'all got me. You got me. I ain't tripping. Oh my god. Pride number two. What the? It took my chicken. Both. How did I take both chicken? I know I had them tight. I know I had those on tight. Trap number three. Yeah, okay, there we go. We got one baby crab. A lot of these little bitty shellfish. One baby crab, a lot of shellfish. I can't believe they took my chicken that quick. Okay. I see what it is. I see what it is, homies. Y'all want to play that game. Two of my chickens are gone. One baby crab fell out. Now this right here is a good spot. As long as it don't get stuck on the rocks. And it's stuck on the rocks. And shellfish, 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 shellfish. God damn, it's killed it. It's only a bone left. That was like even 10 minutes. Okay. All right, y'all. So clearly there's crabs in these waters. My chicken is gone and the truck is about half a mile back where I have one piece of chicken. So there's only one thing I can do. I'm going to have to cut up that little boy for bait. Now listen, this is arm, his left arm. He looks right-handed. If I take his left arm, he can survive a life right-handed. I can get at least three good cuts from his right arm. Gonzalez. Sorry, Gonzalez. Take one for the team, homie. You gotta take one for the team. Hola!